Area 51 is one of the greatest mysteries of humanity. While we know it exists, but we still don't know what mysteries. Terrible experiments. An alien monster is hiding in the Nevada desert. Those who do not know Area 51 should know that it is a base occupied by the United States Army. It is said that there are numerous experiments and tests, especially related to aliens. This area has been occupied since 1943. At the end of World War II, the United States realized that the power of the Nazis was largely due to the experiments performed. Therefore, to not be left behind, they ventured into tests on genetic mutation. They wanted to create supermen for the army, like a kind of superhero. They began with a search for immortality in humans. Naturally, no man wanted to be a lab rat. In addition, the chosen person should be of absolute confidence so that the experiment did not fall into enemy hands. Albert Weston, a renowned scientist within the US Army, proposed his daughter, Abigail Weston, as the best option to carry out the terrible experiment. This suggestion was very well received, and in a matter of months, the young girl would start receiving all kinds of treatments. They got down to work in what would be the Abigail Project. The experiments began. From the first moment, the results were very alarming. Abigail's face was warping. Her face seemed whiter. Her teeth grew very strangely. The color of her skin was fading, and many wrinkles appeared. Her that did not fall out turned white. Despite what his companions recommended, Abigail's father wanted to take the test to the last consequences. And not because he didn't love his daughter, but because he knew that if he stopped it, she would die instantly. He just wished that at the end of the procedure, his daughter would recover. A person who worked in the kitchen of Area 51 said that during those years they prepared a lot of food. It was rumored to be taken to a strange and monstrously immense creature. It was said that his boss, Albert Weston, spent many hours talking and crying in front of the door where that creature was. The reports noted that Abigail had completely lost her mind. Like a wild animal, her body had become monstrous. She was almost three meters high, and her skin had torn apart, exposing the bones. Despite Abigail's terrible appearance, her father still had some hope that this experiment would work. He refused to end his daughter's life. At the same time, the guilt gradually destroyed him. And two years later, he committed suicide. He left a letter begging them to take care of Abigail. However, the army concluded that they would not feed her anymore, and thus die of hunger. They say that the first night Abigail did not receive food. Unbearable yelling could be heard. The next morning, all the alarms sounded. Upon discovering that the guards had been killed, and that a very hungry Abigail had escaped, two soldiers found her and began shooting at her. The shots did not affect her at all, and she attacked and killed the soldiers. Since they couldn't kill her, they decided to seal the entire area where Abigail was with the strongest materials they had. More than 70 years have passed since the Abigail project was terminated. Despite this, you can still hear the cries and the noises caused by this creature. It's unknown if the monster will die someday, but managed to escape first. Albert Weston is probably proud of his experiment. The Abigail project was an experiment conducted in Area 51. Abigail escaped, but they closed the area where she was with very strong materials. Or so they thought. It's been 70 years since the Abigail Project. And even after this time, many say that in the west wing of Area 51, you can hear blows. One of the biggest questions is how Abigail has been able to survive all this time. Today, it's believed that Abigail is one of the reasons why Area 51 is so restricted. Since they do not want any explorers to have access to the area where Abigail is sealed. And can end in a tragedy. In 2017, some soldiers who were on duty saw someone leave the restricted area. The soldiers followed the suspect to the compound until they reached the kitchens. Surprised, they went in to find out who the suspect was. Upon entering, the kitchen was abandoned. It hadn't been used for years, a strong smell led them to the warehouse. They stood with a giant pot for the large animal that hung from the ceiling. The woman was using some ropes to lower the animal into the pot. The soldiers stopped her and interrogated her for a long time. What was she doing with that animal and why had they seen her in the restricted area? The woman did not say a single word. So they decided to investigate on their own. To their surprise, the door was ajar. The soldiers drew their weapons. It is harmless. Who was harmless? To their surprise, they found food scraps. The soldiers continued patrolling the area, when Abigail appeared. She ripped one of their heads off, while the other kept shooting at her. But they couldn't stop her. They called the reinforcements that immediately came, but Abigail was stronger than they thought. Abigail left the restricted area attacking everything that lay ahead. The woman who had been feeding her tried to stop her, but it was too late. 
Abigail was out, she destroyed everyone, escaping until reaching the outside. And now Abigail runs free through the forest near Area 51, hidden in some cave and feeding on animals. Those responsible for this are still looking for her to this day. The Lebensborn project was a plan devised by the Nazi army. It originated in order to assist single mothers and their children to increase the birth rate. However, with the onset of the war, they began to take children from the occupied populations that possessed Aryan features. In this way, they would enhance the Aryan race. The children who didn't work for this were sent to the concentration camps to experiment on. For example, twins are those who suffer from diseases or syndromes, or the favorites of Josef Mengel, the SS doctor, also called the Angel of Death. He was dedicated to the study of human genetics. All of his research focused around the search for the superhuman. To this, he performed real atrocities, like sewing to heads on a dog, removing organs and changing them around. Hitler had organized a plan to create an army of the deadliest children, since the enemies would never attack defenseless children. To do this, they had to destroy them inside, destroying all kinds of emotions using psychological techniques. Therefore, in July 1944, children captured and taken to Levensborn were destined for destruction. They trained them from dawn till dusk to turn them into human weapons without mercy. However, that a teardrop was not worthy of belonging to the Aryan race. They also received a strict German education. And if they let a word in their native language escape, they were beaten. When they passed the first month, they went on to the surgery phase. Bengal opened the operating room and changed their internal functioning to make them more powerful. There was a child whom everyone considered the one chosen by Hedler. His name was Jacob. Some say he was the bastard son of Stalin, but it was impossible since Stalin's son was an adult and was part of the Red Army during the war. Jacob was a cheerful boy with a special glow in his eyes. When he looked, it gave off beasts. He was special. Maybe for this reason Hedler chose him. It was disturbing that despite all the experiments he endured on a daily basis, the glow in his eyes never disappeared. However, when it was time for the mutation phase, everything changed. He was injected with a large dose of adrenaline so he could face any attack. They cut off two of his toes to increase his speed. And on his fingers, they put very sharp blades. When he woke up from the operation, the glow had disappeared. But his smile remained. They took a team of ten children to a Red Army base. No one would attack them. And once in the enemy camp, they were destroyed. However, the Russian army did not act as expected. And as soon as they saw the children, they began machine gunning them. Of the ten, five died, and four of them suffered severe brain injuries and amputations. Jacob was the only one who came out unscathed from the attack. After this event, Jacob became Hitler's most precious weapon. He was like an amulet. One day during training, a glass got stuck in his eye, and then opted not to remove it. That way he would be more fearsome. The boy's screams were terrifying. His whole face was stained with blood, and a kind of white foam came out of his mouth. Seeing him, Hitler became very angry with the doctor. He took the boy who kept shouting to his den. That was the last time they saw him. A few days later, the Allied victory arrived. As everyone knows, Hitler was found dead with a shot in the head. But nobody mentions the blade stuck in his neck. An attempt has been made to reconstruct the life of little Jacob with testimonies. But his body never appeared. And his whereabouts is unknown. Some say that the United States Army took the boy to their military base, the famous Area 51. Since we'll enter Area 51 on September 20 to look for all the hidden monsters. We have made a small breakdown of all the terrifying creatures that you might come face to face with. Warning, any resemblance to reality is pure coincidence. Abigail is at the top of our catalogue of Area 51 creatures. The tender young lady who will break her bones before you know it. The best thing that can happen to you is that she leaves you unconscious so you don't feel when she rips your head off with her teeth. It is difficult to know where you find her in the base. Keep your eyes peeled. Jacob also appeared in this inventory. But don't look for him anymore because he's gone. As you well know, he went to a distant place. You should know that the West Wing of Area 51 has several rooms with infinite shelves, full of cages with many animals. But they are not just any animals. They are mutants. The most abundant species are raccoons. These were rescued from Chernobyl to investigate them. They have endured different invasive alterations. Currently, they are the most dangerous animal species on the planet. The fangs scrape their own skin and give off a nauseating smell. In any case, their radiation level causes death in less than a minute. 
In a refrigerated room, there are mutant penguins, better known as the killer penguins. These were taken from Antarctica in order to develop their survival capabilities. They messed with their DNA, mixing it with that of polar bears. The result was scary. They lost their skin, their eyes turned red, and they grew huge claws. In a small room on the east wing, enclosed the prisoners of war and used them as guinea pigs. There was a time that almost all inmates were Japanese. Currently, it is estimated that most are from the Middle East. They're subjected to tests on the cover that they usually don't survive. Those who resist do so by losing their own identity and awareness. It is unknown how many are alive and to what extent they are dangerous. There are probably different degrees of danger. In the basement, 500 meters below the surface, hides the most fantastic beings you can imagine. There's a large aquarium where a woman is located. At first, this will seem beautiful, but when you get close, you will realize that it is a monstrous creature. The frog legs has hands and a fish tail, a mermaid that has nothing to do with Ariel. Next to the aquarium, there is a protected area with high security in which they hide the specimen of a reptilian. It was rumored to be Walt Disney preserving him to bring him back to life. However, it's not the being we know. Many of those who guarded him end up committing suicide due to the anguish that it caused them. Finally, you might also encounter the famous alien that appeared in 1957 in Roswell. But this one is dead and dissected. We truly wish that when you reach Area 51, you will find all these creatures and you can take a souvenir. However, the US government continues to say that it's a military base with airplanes, technologies, and soldiers. Whatever it is, good luck. If you're up to speed on everything on the internet, you will have heard about the epic event that will take place on September 20. The assault on Area 51. Yes, a few days ago, a Facebook group created the event. Storm, Area 51, they can stop all of us. Currently, more than one million people have indicated they will be there, and another million are interested. Attendees should simply go to the tourist attraction center of Area 51 and coordinate their entry. They are encouraged to run like Naruto with arms extended back and head forward. To be faster than the bullets of the soldiers guarding the base. The truth that is indicated in the title of the event is that the more people attend, the harder it will be for them to be stopped. After all, people are just anxious about discovering once and for all the truth about the aliens they have hidden. Needless to say that Area 51 is in Nevada. However, the trip to the base will not be easy. Since it's in the Badlands at Broom Lake, more than 50 kilometers from the nearest town. In addition, although the coordinates are known, Google Maps does not mark the location. So good luck with the compass. There have been a few intrepid people who have devised plans for the offensive to come out favorably. Coming to these, the Kyles, a team of muscular teenagers, will form the front line. It is important to sustain them with enough energy. Behind them will be the rock throwers who will throw rocks towards the resistance. Not to hurt them, but to prevent them from firing at the Kyles. Meanwhile, Naruto runners will head at full speed around the north and south flank. Finally, others will use the Shadow Clone technique to triple the numbers and overwhelm the base soldiers. You will probably have noticed the jocular tone of the attack. However, just in case, the authorities that are already aware of the initiative have reminded everyone that the base is part of the United States Army and that they won't hesitate in responding to the attack. In response and for fear of the consequences, the creator of the event made an official statement that said the following. Hello United States government, this is a joke and I have no intention of executing the plan. I just wanted to make a good internet joke and get a bunch of likes. I am not responsible if people finally decide to stall me area on their own. The fact is that although they narrow track, this group has been a large quarry of memes. They are going to show you the ones we like the most. 1. Though all those people assaulted Area 51. Time Traveler. You mean the Area 51 massacre? Gasp. 2. 400,000 people marching to Area 51. Should we tell them the field is full of mines? Gah. 3. Get on the bus and route to Area 51, knowing that they will kill me. I am in danger. Number 4. 250 Naruto runners. And the alien that abducted from Area 51. 5. When my alien and mother meet for the first time. And that's it for this Draw My Life. If you liked it, do not forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. Until next time.